What's up, everybody? This is Chris. And this is Charles. And this is the, the Black, Black Address. Address. One day. On him to you, man. Something that a lot of people perhaps... On him to you. He said the world belongs to you. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about um, the terminology that's used um, a lot. Uh, young people use it, old, uh, uh, middle aged people use it, a lot of these uh, uh, top notch broadcasters, people in the industry, they use this term a lot and the term is called swag, but what a lot of people don't know what it really meant and where it, where it came from, what time frame or anything, we've just been using it. But now, you know, we've been researching and wanting to understand why what is this term and why is it so important uh, and why are they using it so much through almost everything uh, so we, we did a, a little bit of research and we found out something so go ahead and tell them what's going on um, the word swag it stands for secretly we are gay I know it sounds like you know some kids made it up but it's true people it, it happened back in the 60s and they used it as a term for swag parties they had parties which were, you know, secret parties, and they didn't know exactly what the word swag meant. But in these parties, there were gay people, but they didn't understand and know if they were gay or not. Mm -hmm. So, or, or they didn't even want to come out, come out, and say it, say it so broad, because we know that uh, homosexuality was not spoken of almost until this day. Mm -hmm. And that time, as a uh, just a, a broad thing, or you just you just come out and say it, you just kind of with the I come out the clo closet mentality. So when they say that secretly, you know, they tell you it's a swag party. You will associate, okay, swag. Mm -hmm. All right, this is what you know that you you go in there. Mm -hmm, you're about to go have yourself a good rainbow time. <laughs> but you know, I was I was very shocked when I you know learned about it. It was it was just you just can't believe exactly what is being thrown to you. You know, the term swag is being used as a social trend, and everybody's saying it, but they don't know understand the true meaning of where it came from or where it originated. So I that's very important to look up on you guys. I mean. I was just very shocked to hear that because I've hear I hear so much from people, and now it's just known as that social trend. People love to say it, mm -hmm. but you know the term swagger is used in the dictionary, but swag I don't see that in the dictionary. And you know a lot of time we see a lot of people when you say you're swagged out, even your appearance seems a little uh, metrosexual to me because. You see a lot of these guys with a lot of these gold chains and their pants is all tied up in there and the jeans is all nice and you know you got earrings and the, the teeth and you know the hat is all bedazzled and you got all this stuff and you're saying you're swagged out <clears throat> and you think about it and you're saying what is wrong with these guys you know why why oh, I'm swag mm -hmm. and now if you know now that we know the real terminology when you're using it it says secretly we are gay even though it's not it's um, it has changed, you know, time has passed, but that's where it originated, people, you know, you, um, I'm pretty sure they know that, too, mm -hmm. as far as the music industry, movies and all that, mm -hmm. they understand, I mean, they looked it up just as we look up stuff and learn new things. Mm -hmm. And and a lot, and a lot of them, and a lot, in in this day and time, we know there's, there's a lot of secret stuff and a lot of hidden lot messages of and a lot of things, so, so to use the term swag by broadcasters, which you've never heard them say so, so vividly, or just, just say, just, you know, you, you just go out and say it, oh, like, like, I heard a lot. Like you, could, you could be watching football and they say, "Oh, you know, he just has that swag about him." And you're thinking about what? What are you talking about? Why is a why is a uh, professional broadcaster use the terminology that almost kind of seems so low to use about describing another player? Now that you know that secret, it means secretly we are gay. You kind of think, okay, that's kind of weird for this broadcaster who's making millions of dollars using a uh, small term like swagger. And just for just to say the word style, just to keep up with the trend, I don't believe it's something that they want to do to keep up with any trends. I think it's just a hidden, hidden tactic that they put out there so we all can say it and we not know the real meaning behind it. And there's a lot of more stuff that that people don't really realize, and we use it, 
and we just say oh it's okay but once you find out the real meaning you might want to stop doing it just like pan sagging um i actually actually uh the big thing about pan sagging before we go is um i took a trip out to milwaukee and a lot of black people ain't out there sagging it's not it's so it's not a black thing uh, it's not something that we all do it's not something that 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 it's a cultural thing we just we don't do, not everybody does it i actually seen i seen about you have you i seen about all together and i was gone for about four days riding around the whole north side of milwaukee which is predominantly black uh about three people who had sagging pants and the rest wasn't all sagged out and stuff like we do out here in arizona when we don't have no knowledge whatsoever we just keep following every trend that's out here it doesn't make any sense because you need to look up your own history that goes for everybody that's it so we thank you guys for watching us and um like we say at the end of every episode we just average black people like you we just feel that some things need to be addressed